For the presence of insects that carry the virus, a common sense approach may be your best defense. Reporter Christy Capic explains. We have given it a name, I think, and kind of given it an aura that it probably doesn't deserve uh, compared to other illnesses which are much more severe. Dr. Amin is talking about one of the thousands of viruses that plague our world, the West Nile virus. Fortunately, uh, most people, if they are bitten by a mosquito and literally infected with West Nile virus, probably never know it. Only about 1% of all the people that are infected with West Nile virus from, from a mosquito bite will go on to manifest what we define as severe symptoms. Amin says severe symptoms can include paralysis and neurologic damage, but medical testing is the only sure way to find out. The laboratory received all kinds of specimens, such as blood, urine, and body fluids. It's then uh, processed in this area centrifuge and then distributed to the different parts of the laboratory. Um, when we get the result, the physician then uses that to, um, for their diagnosis. A lab can better determine if it is West Nile virus, which takes 10 to 15 days to manifest in humans. And while inoculation exists for horses, prevention for humans is yet to come. Yeah, there's no specific vaccine right now for West Nile virus, although there are a couple of companies that are working on a vaccine. While area residents may be aware of the damage the virus can cause, one local resident has the right attitude by being prepared and staying realistic. Well, yes, we, uh, we have bought some uh, repellent spray. But if we had to worry about being bitten by a mosquito, we probably wouldn't leave the house. So we can't let that rule our lives. So we still have to be active and exercise. So while you're out there exercising or enjoying those summer days, there's one thing you should remember. Keeping your immune system strong is, is uh, obviously the way to combat all sorts of in, infectious diseases, whether it's a virus or a bacteria or the common cold. This very rare disease was the cause of 236 deaths in the United States in 2009. However, in 2010, there have been no documented cases here in the state of California. This is Christy Capic reporting for City Cable 3. Thanks, Christy. These human statistics show that education may be an effective way to prevent further fatalities. For more information, visit